One of the Justice Department's most prominent criminal trials to emerge from the Capitol attack has been delayed after prosecutors and defense lawyers representing some members of the extremist group Proud Boys argued that key evidence gathered by a congressional committee investigating the insurrect. Five members of the Proud Boys, including the group's former chairman Henry Enrique Tarrio, were set to stand trial on sedition charges in early August. But U.S. District Judge Timothy Kelly Wednesday moved the case to December 12, citing the continuing work of the Special House panel investigating T.H. Last week, justice officials renewed a call for transcripts documenting the testimony of more than 1,000 witnesses in the congressional inquiry, saying the lack of access complicates the department's ability to investigate and prosecute those who engaged in criminal conduct in relation to the John U. The letter was signed by Matthew Graves, the U.S. Attorney in Washington, D.C., overseeing the sprawling January 6 criminal inquiry, along with the Chiefs of Justice's National Security and Criminal Divisions. Moreover, it is critical that the department be able to evaluate the credibility of Witten. The government's support for a delay was joined by three of the defendants, but notably not Tario. In a Wednesday court filing, Tario's attorneys argued their client was wrongly accused and that it would be impossible to seat an impartial jury in Washington, D.C. Tario believes that an impartial jury will never be achieved in Washington, D.C., whether the trial is in August, December, or next. After reviewing countless hours of discovery composed of terabytes upon terabytes of evidence, not a single scintilla of evidence exists that Tario participated in any kind of conspiracy or criminal wrongdoing, quite the opposite is true.